Okay, so the soul guidance that we're going to work on at this time for you, Gemini, is coming from the Crystal Wisdom Healing Oracle. And the card that I pulled for you in particular is this card, this stone, Quantum Quattro. I'm going to try to get an angle so you could see it without a glare. It's a beautiful stone. And what we're talking about here is synergy sort of creating a wholeness within that lets you shift and you know first of all integrate and then shift higher right um this is a, a a high frequency you know high vibrational stone sometimes we might need to heal karmic aspects of ourselves sometimes we need to make sure that we're tending to our own well-being before we tend to others we cannot be, um, you know, we, the healer for anyone else, really, um, spiritually at least, um, especially if we have not worked on our own well-being. So this is about going to be all about you, Gemini, and as all my readings are, really, but um, some true <clears throat> inner work, some, you know, synergy within, let's say. Okay, um, let's see if what comes up in the Zen cards. So we're going to use the tree spread here. We've got the bottom branch. This is where we're starting. This is where you are now. And then we use this energy of the trunk, the rooted energy, to move us forward and reach toward the higher vibrations and new awarenesses. Okay. All right, Gemini, let's see. We're starting here with turning in. Yeah. First step in... Um, you know, uh, soul work and integrating and, and making sure that all is right within is turning in, right? So be with yourself. Look at, look at the little, uh, all these ghouls and spirits and kind of scary to me, um, spirits that are surrounding this woman, yet she sits in serenity because they, you know, look at and the, how the water flows from her representing emotion and deep feelings flows right from her these spirits and demons and maybe past um energies cannot harm her because she is collecting herself she's sitting with herself and um attuned to what's within okay this is your starting point i love this so it's sort of gather yourself in order to prepare for this integration, in order to prepare for the next shift, right? I love that. That's perfect. Okay, internally, and a sort of a um, the hidden aspect of the process of this, you know, collecting of your energy, it's supported by your compassionate heart. It's supported by self love, self compassion. Um, the no, the knowing that, like we just said, you must tend to your own well-being before you can be of any value to others. The knowing of that is what's supporting the process of it, right? Um, your biggest strength will come from your deepest, you know, your deep connection to your inner self. That's your biggest strength. Your biggest strength isn't outward. It's not being able to communicate effectively. It's not being able to provide for somebody or nurture. Those are all strengths and they are all beautiful, wonderful qualities. But your biggest, your most profound power comes from your internal alignment. Okay. And this is where we want you to start this practice. Okay, Gemini. In your external world, well, look at that. We also have more silence, more turning in. They go together. <laughs> so I would say that physically in your daily life, ramp up your uh, meditation, prayer, spiritual practices. Any time that you can get alone with yourself and unplug, uh, disengage, no reading, no writing, no speaking, no listening, Anytime you can just be in silence is where you garner all this power that we're, we're trying to line up, right? 
in order to move on to the next level. So more and more, even if it's, you know, doesn't seem like a lot to you, but 15 minutes a day is a lot. It's a lot of soul recharge time if it's done properly. No distractions, no uh, answering the door, you know, no music, nothing, just pure silence. You could go out into nature if you want. That helps. There are sounds around, but in your meditation, you can just allow those sounds to be there. Um, or in the tub, in your bed, um, you know, but purity of time, quality time with yourself. Okay. That's going to be really important. That's your foundation for preparing for this energetic shift. Okay. And that will facilitate this integration we're talking about here, represented by the quantum quattro stone. Look at that. It's just beautiful. I can't stop looking at that stone. There's so much going on. Okay, um, this trunk card here is sort of the key to your progress. Okay, we're going to have to master this in order to be able to move forward. And look at that. Well, what a fun thing that you must do. <laughs> and that is have fun. <laughs> be joyful. Be playful. Express yourself outward whenever you can. After you've gathered and brought in your energies and and tuned, you know, into... Um, your own well-being and acknowledge that your self-care comes first once you've aligned that then break out and have the fun you know you have once you've gotten that aligned you can you can bust out and and do whatever have some fun um sing dance play um hang out with friends uh you know go sailing whatever it is that that lets your heart set free you must find time for that then you're ready for your next shift, right? Then you're ready for what comes next. And look, healing is ahead. Healing is ahead for sure. I love this. Okay, so we have three cards that are based on emotions. We started out with a card based on emotion, a water card here in the Zen spread, in the Zen deck. And the, the next level is all about your feelings. It's all about... Um, First of all, being cautionary that you don't throw your feelings onto others. You don't, let's see, not your, not, not share your feelings. I'm not saying that, but you don't literally project what you feel onto someone else as far as, well, I'm feeling, um, I don't know, I'm feeling really happy and joyful now. So you should too, right? Because you've just come out of this playful period. <laughs> uh, so no, that you're, you let them stay contained within you. They're yours. And anyone else that's ex having an experience in front of you is allowed to have their individual experience, right? But at the same time, protect yourself. This is sort of, you know, there's a sort of a psychic protection um, required here. Once you've aligned yourself and garnered and integrated your inner and outer worlds and brought your energy to where it is um, fully aligned and ready to make a shift, your need to protect from others' expectations of you is going to be need to put in place. So you might want to do some shielding work too. So, and also your need to not project your own stuff onto others. This is your work, right? Your work alone. So, um, you know, if you want to have a teaching moment with another, then just merely set an example. Just be a model for this work. You don't have to spill it onto someone else in order for it to be effective, right? And nobody else's idea of what's best for you needs to be right for you, okay? So that's something to keep in mind as you are going through these processes. Um, and then within you, internally, you have the distinct knowledge and this, this definite, um, you know, vibration that it's healing your entire being. It's moving. If you can see the um, third eye and crown chakras and the third chakra there are connected by the hands and then what's in the middle, the heart chakra, right there, 
beaming and shining. You're, you're in alignment. It's healing all of you, mind, body, soul, this whole process. And you know that. I mean, we, you know it. It's just a matter of being willing to do the work. See, because in some of you, this work here, this integration, this sort of gathering your energies could mean that you unearth some past pain that you may have to do a little bit of, um, you know, karmic healing and some dig deep, you know, deep diving into things that need to be forgiven, things that need to be let go of, you know, codependencies, um, you know, letting that inner child come out so that it can be your guide forward. Um, your healing uh the potential for your the powers of healing some things right now is very high very high especially with the support of that quantum quattro card and then containing it so that you realize you can't heal anyone else and you can't really influence their behavior that allows you to really just truly focus on your own well-being and then, like I said, mind, body, soul begin to align and heal. You start to feel that within first. And then in your external world, it shows up as a sort of um, community, sort of a we are all one. Um, I, I'll do me, you do you, we're all good, love you kind of an energy that is really open hearted and giving and caring and compassionate with those around you. And also between you and you, with the, the aspects of yourself too. Um, especially being Gemini, you know, this integration because of the duality of your sign, that integration, this is an important practice. This isn't something that you just do and then you're done and you never have to do it again, right? This is for all of us to practice periodically from time to time. There's always going to be new depths and new aspects of ourselves to heal. And I'm just for, for this time being for you, Gemini, the, you know, the energy of the universe is right behind you in it. It's, you have the full support of spirit in doing this practice and it will result in a much more integrated, open-hearted connectedness that um, maybe has been lacking for you in recent times, um, disconnection from self or disconnection from others. We tend to think if we do feel disconnected from others, that the thing to do is to reach out and grab, right? But it isn't. The first thing to do is to reach inward, turn in and get aligned and then be the presence of connection and the connection will come, right? Sort of like the law of attraction, um, practices, be in alignment before your outer world's going to get lined up, right? So that's what this process is for you. Okay, and then the top two cards, and this is, look at that, we got mind cards. So after all these emotions, the overall, and I love that because you are an air sign. You are, you know, very much, uh, you know, mental, a mental sign that you use your mental processes very well. Two mind-based signs, two cloud signs for the Zen deck. One of them is guilt, but the other is rebirth. So I've got this guilt card, which I'm going to take this as be aware. So remember when we just said you cannot heal anyone else unless you're fully aligned. And, and really, even if you are, you can't really be the one that heals anyone else spiritually. They, that's their work. So you may feel that this is a close loved one that you have in mind when I, when I speak of that, maybe a parent, a child, um, a lover, someone that you feel beholden to helping to in their growth, in their spiritual growth, which now we're learning is quite impossible. And that may produce some feelings of letting them down, some guilt. But it's okay, because if you can let those thoughts that are clawing at your head, like this figure here in the picture, if you can let those go, look what's waiting for you up above. Clear skies, beautiful life, blooming life again. So we can be aware 
of the fact that we have some regret um, over not being able to help someone um, out of their spiritual funk or not being able to help someone elevate to their next space. We can be aware of the fact that we feel bad about that, but we cannot hold ourselves accountable for that because that's when this guilt just really sets in. So having an awareness of it is very healthy and um, learning to let go of that um, pretty powerful in all of us need to be the healer for everyone, be the one that nurtures and cares, letting go of that need and just turning all that energy in towards yourself, that creates this card, which is that rebirth. We have, this is depicted by basically three phases of the soul. And that is this sort of the camel, which is the lowest vibrational energy, the one that's just kind of responding and reacting and not really taking a lot of action, just kind of there, which we all have phases of our lives like that. Then the next step is this lion, which is speaking up, speaking out, roaring, making a presence known, um, really showing up and uh, beating your chest and kind of, ah, you know, shouting from the rooftops. And from that release, because the release is necessary, comes the rebirth, comes that, you know, like a fresh start, say. The inner child comes out again. I love how that inner child is there and it's rooted down here by the playfulness card. These cards, you know, they go, they go with each other and they play off one another. All the work in between is within you. Okay? Really important to... Um, separate your inner work from any influence you feel you may have on others separate it do the inner work first <laughs>